Okay, guys, this is the final stage of candle making, and only if you're a little bit OCD. Um, so, as you can see, we have the nice dimple going on in the middle. I'm going to find a... Actually, none of these really dimpled the way that I thought they would. Um, all right, well, let's go with this one since it has the, the big dimple. Um, so all you got to do for that after everything is cooled all the way, so probably the next morning, um, I have a heat gun that I use for other kinds of crafting. <clears throat> They're like 20, 30 bucks. Um, or you can use uh, a hairdryer that has a good, good amount of heat coming off of it and you just... You just do that until the wax melts enough to fill in that dimple. Um, this is also a great way to uh, correct where the uh, wick has gone to. Um, and yeah, that's it. You let it cool and then you just trim the wick a little bit so it's not too far past the, uh, the edge of the wax and you're good. Candle's made. Thank you for joining me on part eight of, part eight or nine, uh, The Idiot's Home Guide to Candle Making. Goodbye.